Hello everyone, welcome. So in this video, we are going to talk about one of the top 10 OWASP software retrievers. So now we will have a brief idea or very very great idea about SQL injection. So SQL injection is basically one of the top 10 OWASP security risks that usually is a, a non-functional testing uh, requirement and in that the one of the major risk in the, is the in the security testing is the SQL injection. So SQL injection is an attack type that exploits bad SQL statements and can be used to pass bypass the login algorithms and can easily fetch, delete, insert, manipulate data. And we have SQL injection tools in market like SQL mapping and SQL smack. These are doing the SQL injection and it is very difficult to actually do it with any detection tool. It's very difficult to actually detect the SQL injection. And good security policy when writing SQL statement can actually help you to reduce the SQL injection attacks. So by any means, you have to stop the SQL injection attacks so that you can easily secure your application. So the definition of SQL injection is an attack that poison dynamic SQL statement to comment out certain part of a statement or appending a condition that will always be true. It takes advantage of the design flaws in purely designed web applications to exploit SQL statement or to execute malicious SQL code. So that's how we usually define SQL injection. So if there is any flaw in the designing of web application, the SQL statement actually uh, can be inserted or fetched using the SQL injection. So the, the attack work on dynamic SQL statement mostly and it is basically uh, like a query which is basically inserted with a parameter. So it is usually generated at the runtime using parameters password from a web form or a query string. So let's say you have this query right so this query which is ge very generic can be shown here so let me go back and show you in one of the database so this is sqlfiddle.com so you can create your schema in this let's say you create a table create use table table name which is user and it has email where the 25 and password and we can insert the email which is let's say test at the gmail.com and the password which could be password 123 let's try I'm not sure if md5 utility worked here but let's try to encrypt it as well Sorry, there was a mistake here okay so everything is here now let's try to run this query select start from user run SQL so we have this email and the password is md5 encrypted right so now let's go back so it's a simple username and uh, sorry email and password so if I say this query equal to email equal to this which is and password equal to md5 password123 right so now let's run it this password this so it's saying unknown column password and the pass column name is pwt and let's run it okay now you can see that we easily can fetch the data with a simple query but what happens if we make it a generic query like this right we have changed the test with x gmail with x and x, com with x 
and we are not getting any values right now right but let's see this if we change it to the another condition or one equal to one right and run this query here so with this particular condition is always true and with that we can easily say that it automatically make the condition true and fetch these values so that actually helps in picking up all the values here and that is basically a basic example of SQL injection because I intruder can easily pick up the value from 1 equal to 1 and if we have more values like this test 1 test 2 test 3 test 4 like this and we build the schema here inside the users okay let me just add these here and now if we fetch all the values again here it will pick up all the values like this so here you can easily see that an intruder with a simple condition can pick all the values even with this without even knowing any data or any kind of specific things here. so that's a basic example of SQL injection so here you can see the diagram showing that select star from user where email is generic password is there but if we put a condition which is always true then we can always pick up the values so in order to fix that you have to make sure your code is pretty good and whatever you design in terms of application should actually work so now I can easily tell you how to prevent from SQL attacks knowing that you are already aware of what SQL is attacks are in the basic form so user input should never be trusted in the web applications and should be sanitized before dynamic SQL statements then there should be stored procedures that can encapsulate the SQL statement and treat all input at parameters then there should be prepared statements that are basically statements which can be helpful to make the parameters sanitized and also help uh, like <clears throat> in creating a SQL statement first and then creating all submitted user data as parameter and this has no effect on the syntax of the SQL statement then there is regular expressions and these can be used to detect potential harmful code and remove it before executing the SQL statements now database connection access rights and the error messages should be taken care of. so the database connection access should be reduced as per the user and whoever is performing whatever kind of operations should be given those kind of uh, <clears throat> access whereas the error messages should basically uh, not re reveal the sensitive information and should be uh, generic in terms of saying we are like experiencing these kind of technical errors or all those things or pre pre please try again as you can see in these slides so that's how you can easily prevent from the SQL attacks so this is a, one of the example of the application so let's say techbanda.org is there and I just log in with the email and password as I mentioned in the SQL query before it will just give me the SQL injection login and that actually hacks the application because with any generic value here you are actually passing the data which is generic and getting the values here so I will not uh, like create any uh, example for you here and I guess it is pretty much explanatory because in the password if you will see triple x do, uh, colon and bracket or one equal to one is pretty much here uh, like this so this is pretty much same right so even if you pass after that uh, a comment like this and run this as well like with this comment and this condition as true you can easily see the data is been coming and someone can easily like fetch the information from the application as well using the SQL injection here so that's one of the application example which I'm just not showing because it's pretty simple here so this statement at intelligently is you md5 encryption because in the password we have in the condition we have md5 here 
It completes the single quote and the closing bracket. It appends a condition to the statement that will always be true. And in general, a successful SQL injection attack attempts a number of different techniques such as uh, like what I have demonstrated before with this example here. So that's a simple example of the uh, SQL injection. As I said, you can delete data, update data, insert data and can also create programs like Trojans and you can also like uh, export valuable data such as credit card details, emails and password and you can also get the user login details as well with this. So it's pretty much obvious what all you can do with SQL injection. And this is one of the example of the SQL injection with the union. So let me show you an example of that. So if you will see here, this is a test PHP. This thing is basically uh, yeah, like this. So it's simply showing with the parameter is simply showing artist equal to one, right? And it's giving the artist name here. So now if you want, you can easily select union select one, two, three here. So with union uh, select one, two, three. You have all these three, sorry I didn't mention my hyphen here. So you have all these three count that is artist 2 and you can see the B picture of the artist here. So with the simple select query with the union, you can easily pick up any value here. And similarly, if you want some specific field like this, you can simply do union. Okay, let me just uh, type a URL here. So yeah, I guess this, so yeah, with this, you can simply pass values here and this basically query will give you everything you need and what we have is artist test has 69 values and when you see the pictures of them, there are all the pictures of different artists here. And you can comment and actually pick up all the values here. So that's how the query ran, giving this is the artist and it selects everything that is one pass CC from user where username equal to test. That is the username. So first value is one, which is 69. Second column name is pass given here, and third is the comments. So everything is being uh, given here based on whatever you select. So now Till now, what we have discussed is the SQL injection examples with the different uh, database and sorry, different examples with database as well as the query on the browsers and the union queries on the browser. And then we can also talk about uh, the prevention of SQL injection attacks in detail now. We have discussed what we have to do, but let's discuss in detail in terms of code. So this is a basic example of the query which you can see in the bold here. So this is something which simply shows, yes, this is a query and the parameter is being picked at the time of creating the query. But now, if you will see the problem here, in the, in the query, the first block shows that the query which is having the problem and the second block shows if we add a generic condition like we did before, it will create the query which is the third block and will actually give you the data of every user or every account number will be given there. So you can easily fetch account number, credit card details or whatever sensitive information you want here with this basic information. But if we have a solution here which is called as pre prepared statement. So this pre prepared statement if we create a query in the beginning we just mentioned question mark. If you will see the bold one which is assigned at the top and and the try block if you have seen the previous statement before you will be very much aware but just bear with me if you are not aware of Java uh, but it will make sense to you because we are passing the parameter at the bottom and not with the query above and that's why 
like we did before you cannot add the generic condition because parameters are passed separately not at the same time so you cannot add this particular parameter or the condition which is one equal to one and is always true with the prepaid statement so that is a simple example of the solution of uh, database queries with prepaid statement in java similarly we have an insert statement which also is passing all those values and executing them and these values are pass, passing the parameter at the same time but if you'll see here this statement is actually binding the parameters the one which you will see in the yellow let me just make it little bigger for you so this one sorry so this one is actually adding the parameter separately and that's why like this you can easily see it is binding the parameter separately and similarly with all the values above insert is there which is also binding the parameter separately so first one example of ASP.NET sorry about the phone size and second is the example of this PHP but the basic thing here is also we are passing the parameter separately and executing them after assigning the value with the bind param or in PHP bind param is used but ASP.NET is using commanded parameters so it's simple there and you can easily do that so now let's talk about one of the tools which is SQL map and you can install it directly from sqlmap.org and can use it there so now if you will just set up the tool you can easily access the database information I'll show you how so I already have it installed so install it on your systems like this sqlmap.org and sqlmap.org and github and all that so you just install it from here put it here So if you will see, I just used SQL map hyphen u, gave the URL of the same uh, particular URL of the same website which we were uh, testing before and hyphen hyphen dbs. And with that, you can easily see all the available databases here. And now let's say you want to access the database here, which is accurate. So now, acurat hyphen hyphen table. Sorry, uh, I guess I mentioned the wrong database here. It's AC UART, right? Yes, so now because we mentioned hyphen hyphen tables after the database name, we have all these tables here. Now, if you put hyphen T and the table name which is artist, hyphen hyphen columns. You get all the columns here so like this you just oh sorry I mentioned the small t sorry about the typo so now you just get all the database tables which is all the table columns from the artist table of the accurate database here now if you want the columns value so the column name is the a name here and we just want the value so we just say hyphen c after the table name so it's all uh, drilling down and these are the value of those column names so it's a simple sql map tool you install it just download it and install it like any exc here or with the any npm or view or on mac you can use this ruby command as well and once you install it you just use the like once you download it you just use the blue install command on the mac so yes these are the different ways to install it and then you just use uh, commands like this but to have more information you can simply type sql map hyphen h to get all the information here so that's all from the sql injection 
So I'm sure you get a brief idea about SQL injection, you get to know about how the tool works and this is the beginning of the security testing. You can enroll to my classes or email me or like uh, message me uh, at the emails or like information given below. You can easily connect with me and ask any questions in the comment section or over the email and you can also uh, ask for anything about the security testing and you can always uh, get learn tools or learn uh, from Sanely Skill uh, via YouTube channel or you can enroll into our courses and connect me or my uh, team over the email you have all the information. So that's all from my end. So this is Nishan Makkar from Sanely Skill signing off. Thank you. Bye-bye.